I mean, I had no idea they could get away with doing that sort of thing. I mean, they might think it's funny, but I'm not laughing. Early last October, oh, Gary Chappell was admitted to the Queen Mary Hospital in Lyme Regis for a routine hip operation. The operation was to last an hour and a half, and he was to be discharged the following day. That's my life now. I mean, you can hear it even now, but it was two, three times louder after the operation. Just makes me into a bit of a figure of fun, really, at, at work and at home. Well, what's causing it? Was there a mistake with your hip operation? No, it's not a mistake. It's a squeaker. I'm sorry? The consultant told me a, a few weeks later that they've put a squeaker, a rubber squeaker in there, in my hip. Listen. See? It's insufferable. I, I mean, in the end, the rubber will perish. But until then, it's just very embarrassing. Well, why did they do this? Well, the consultant said to me that he dared the surgeon to do it. He says to me, I dared him and I never thought he'd do it. Apparently none of them did. Apparently they were all saying, oh my God, I can't believe he's doing it. You know, through their masks with me on the table, none the wiser. Apparently they were in hysterics. Oh, Jeremy, what are you doing? I can't believe he's doing it. Oh, Jeremy, you are mental. You are mental, Jeremy. Well, if you ask me, they are. They are mental. You know, that's the kindest thing I can think about it, really. Mr. Jeremy Peters, Gary Chappell's surgeon, has failed to respond to any of Mr. Chappell's letters concerning this alleged practical joke. We tracked Mr. Peters down and confronted him with Gary's charges. Well, I, I'm sorry, I, I just don't know what he's talking about. Um, the, the man's clearly delusional in some way. But we ourselves heard Gary Chappell squeak. Well, I... I can't explain that. Gary Chappell isn't alone. Dorothy Portman suffered for five years with a slow-release lemon sherbet capsule in her bladder. At first, I, I thought it was a more common urine reinfection. But then I started noticing the smell, um, sort of citrus, um, and, and, of course, the interminable fizzing. Was it painful? No, more of a tickle. Yes. Do you think it's funny? Well, at first, I, I was quite distressed. Well, having thought about it, I, I do think it's quite funny. Yes. Yes, it's, it's quite a worrying trend, actually. In some cases, virtually no one gets out of the operating theatre without some sort of surprise waiting for them. We've had men's nipples moved closer together or aligned vertically. We've had fairy liquid injected into people's bloodstream so that when they cut themselves, they foam. Several cases of obscenities being written in stitches. You know, you, you wake up and you've got shag written across your abdomen. It's, it's quite distasteful. Uh, we've even had cases of people being given joke diseases to wake up to, usually something fairly minor like chicken pox or influenza. But, but one woman in Somerset went into hospital for a routine toenail operation and came out with lung cancer. And that, that's clearly not acceptable. And what about the case of this woman from Somerset who went in for the toenail operation? Well, that's... That's just sick. I mean, what sort of person would do that sort of thing? <laughs> Excuse me. We're definitely in the grip of some particularly gruesome sort of new lad phenomenon. They know what they're doing, they know that it's wrong, and that's where they get their kick. But for Gary Chappell, the laughing never starts. With little information available about the decomposition of rubber squeakers at body temperature, he has no way of telling how long his torment will last. 